Next up on WTV. Today is Back the Blue. Wrestling took on Centennial last night, basketball takes on Independence tonight, and WTV's Peyton Leonard hits the halls asking people their opinion on early scheduling. Good afternoon, Red Hawk Nation. Today is Friday, January 27th, and I'm Kennedy Williams with another daily update brought to you by Wingspan TV. Today is Back the Blue Day, where people wear blue to school and to the home basketball games tonight. Student Council has created an event to give special appreciation to School Resource Officer Glenn Hubbard. Back the Blue is to honor and give appreciation to Officer Hubbard for all the assistance and gratitude he's given to the school in his first year. The recent shooting of a police officer in Little Elm prompted Stucco's decision to host Friday's event. After the recent tragedy in Little Elm with their SRO, we realized that you know, normally we don't appreciate our first responders, our SROs, until something bad happens. And so we really wanted to make a statement that we support our SRO. We really appreciate everything that Officer Hubbard does for us. Stucco is asking students to wear blue on Friday and to the basketball game to show support and honor Officer Hubbard, as well as policemen and women in Collin County. I'm Neha Paramala reporting for WTV. Wrestling took on Centennial last night. Here's the recap. Wrestling competed last night against Centennial. Varsity boys beat the Titans 39-35 and the girls beat them 42-6, keeping both teams at the top of the district standings. The teams will play this Saturday in a district tournament at Heritage starting at 8.30 a.m. On February 2nd, the boys and girls varsity will compete in the district dual championship at 6 p.m. with location to be announced later after this weekend's tournament. I'm Anna McGarva for WTV. Boys basketball plays Independence at home Friday at 7.15. WTV's Davis O'Brien has the preview. According to First Coast Enterprise, the team was projected to breeze through district play, yet with recent struggles, they are looking in from the third place spot. Despite a two-point loss to Lone Star Tuesday, the varsity team is going to the second half of District 13-5A in hopes of a playoff berth, with the team currently sitting in third place, with the top four advancing to the first round of the playoffs. In order to make the playoffs, um, we need to just identify what, uh, kind of what kind of team we are, um, and as of late, we've decided or at least stepped up our defensive efforts. Um, so we continue to do that and, and we can, you know, catch those teams ahead of us because our goal at the beginning of the year was to be a district champion. Along with an aggressive defensive effort, the team's leading scorers, juniors Jaden Bennett and sophomore Zion Richardson, will need to continue their dominance in district play in order to earn a playoff spot. Varsity plays Independence at home at 7.30 p.m. and at Heritage on Tuesday. This is Davis O'Brien reporting for Wingspan TV. On this week's episode of Real Talk, WTV's Peyton Leonard asks students their opinion on early schedule registration. I'm WTV's Peyton Leonard here with Real Talk, and on this segment we're going to be talking about how students feel about making schedules for next year so early on in the semester. I think it's a good time because it gives us time to think about what classes we want to do next year and if it's really what we're interested in and stuff like that. You know, it's definitely coming too soon because I still don't even know what I want to do. So. I think it's coming a little too soon because it'd be nice to have like that extra time to think about it because you're going to have these classes for an entire year. So if you had a little extra time, I think it would have been better. I think it's a perfect amount of time because you want to start early so you can start to figure out what you want to do and like make changes and kind of polish your plan for next year. Because even if you plan in the summertime, you won't really have help from staff because right now since you're in school, you can get more help from counselors and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a good time to start planning for next year. I think it's a little bit too soon because people already have like a lot on their plate to think about the future is kind of overwhelming. I think it's too soon because I'm trying to still figure out what I want to do mm -hmm. and I feel like that's a bunch of freshmen so I do think it's too soon to start planning. I think it's the perfect <laughs> amount of time. If you're looking for more from Wingspan, you can follow us at Liberty Wingspan on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook or visit our award-winning website libertywingspan.com. Please stay tuned for today's announcements. Girls basketball plays Independence at home Friday at 6. Boys basketball plays Independence at home Friday at 7.15. Boys soccer plays Independence at Independence Friday at 7.30. Girls soccer plays Independence at home Friday at 6.30. NHS applications are available in the front office. 
Completed applications are due no later than Friday, February 24th at 4.30 p.m. to Ms. Bennett in C216 or Ms. Epps in C215. That's it for today's daily update. This has been Kennedy Williams for WTV.